Do you like potato chips? I love them. So do you know how Pringles has all those weird flavors? Yes. What would your Pringles flavor be? If you could make, hear me out, a sweet tea flavored Pringle, it would probably change my life. I think it would change all of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kiara Gray. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm a freshman at Johnson University, Florida. I grew up in a household where um, my dad was a pastor, so I grew up as a preacher's kid. Even though I knew that I was a Christian, I knew what I was believing. I didn't hate church, but I just felt like it was something I had to do because I didn't want to disappoint my family. Um, and I wanted to be the good Christian, like just check it off the to-do list, go to church, worship, pray, all the things, get out of the way. And it wasn't until maybe my last two years of high school where I realized that Church is so much more than just a routine. It's like a lifestyle. It's not just being in that building and like, like you are the church. I had the opportunity to go on my first missions trip with my church. We flew out to Arizona and we spent the week working, doing projects and spending time with students on an Indian reservation out there. Our main focus was to spend time with the students there, students that were our age, teenagers, middle schoolers, and just share like, Jesus' love and hope to these students because on the reservation that they live on, things are very different than what we're used to in society. They don't have the same luxuries we do or privileges. Um, and so a lot of the students that were like my age at the time had gone through things a person should never have to go through. It wasn't till Wednesday of that week, we were all sitting around a campfire together and our youth pastor walked in and, and we knew something had happened and we we just kind of sat there waiting for him. And he was like, hey, one of the girls, um, just so you know, one of the girls you've been working with that lives on the reservation this past week um, actually just committed suicide tonight. From that moment on, like the students there specifically were just placed on my heart and like people have always been on my heart, but like that heart for people, God just allowed to like grow and like the spirit definitely moved. So a Kingdom Worker card is basically a little challenge card you had the opportunity to get at the end of every CIY conference, but if you open it, you're committing to that challenge. You're not just gonna open it and read it and be like, oh yeah, like you have to live it out and do it. Like there's no doubt in my mind that that was the spirit pushing me. Like the Holy Spirit was like, this is your time, like pick up a card, like you're gonna do it. And I picked up cards like the past couple years, but I'd never like taken them seriously. I just read them and be like, oh yeah, I can do that. And then I push them to the side and forget about them. But like, this was the one where I was like, whatever I open, like this is the one I'm gonna do. I remember praying over it in my head before I opened it. And I was like, God, like this is gonna be really cool. And I'm really excited to see what it says, but I have a couple terms. And so <laughs> I was like, God, please don't let it be something super hard. Give me like the water for a year one, or like, I'd love to do that, or like donate clothes, like I can do that. Just don't make me fundraise. I don't want to fundraise. I'm pretty sure God laughed at me and was like, sucker. And so I opened the card. <laughs> when does he say that? <laughs> this is true. And so I opened the card and it was like, raise $2,500 to send 10 non-church friends to a CIY in the next year. I went home to my family and I was like, thinking through like how how on earth am I gonna do this like I don't know how to fundraise or do any of this like I know I want to but like God like you need to like show me who you want me to send I don't want to just give it to random people like I want it to be where you want this money to be we prayed over it a lot and we thought about it a lot I remember my mom walks in one day to the living room and we had been talking about it for the past couple of days and she was like Kiara I have an idea and she was like why don't you use fundraise the money and send 10 of the students from the reservation to a CIY I was like, like, there's no doubt in my mind. I was like, that was like such a spirit moment, but how are we gonna fundraise? And so we went through a bunch of different options and we decided on the just giant garage sales because everybody in South Florida loves to garage sale for some reason. And so we put out little ads like, this is our mission and this is what we're doing. The money isn't for us. So many donations came to our house. Like everybody wanted to give us things to sell, which was such a God thing. And so the day of the garage sale came and like we all like prayed before the garage sale to God like this is your money. If you could help us get some today, that would be great, a great starting point. And by the end of the first garage sale, we had already raised over a thousand dollars in one day. We were like, bro, we're already almost like to the halfway point, which was crazy. And we were like, we're gonna do another garage sale. In that garage sale, we had already raised over nine hundred dollars. So we're already over two thousand. There was one day I was sitting in my living room and my parents walked in and they're like, Kara, we have a really important question to ask you. 
would you want to go to the CIY with the students that you raised the money for? And I was like, are you, are you joking? Like, <laughs> of course I would love to go. Like, what in the world? My mom and I spent the week with the students I had met on the mission trip. A lot of them had never left the reservation. On extended rec day, we went to the beach. A bunch of them hadn't ever been to a beach or seen a beach. And so it was crazy for them to be like, oh my gosh, this is the ocean. Like we've heard about it, but we're touching it. And like, it was incredible. Monday, they're super closed off and like nervous and shy. By Friday, all of them had their hands up in worship and were like worshiping. And they all took Kingdom Worker cards of their own and committed to them. And I actually had the opportunity last year to visit Arizona again and go back to the reservation. And I got to catch up with a few of the students that had gone. And one of them, we're just gonna call her Jay. She was like, Kiara, like, I've been doing my Kingdom Worker card. And I was like, are you serious? Like, tell me about it. And it was like every week or like once a month, once a week, sit down with your family and have a Bible study. She's like, yeah, this is the chapter we're going through with my family right now. And she was so excited to tell me about it. And it was so incredible. And like, I got so emotional. I was like, it all started with one yes and one card. And like now her life, like she has so much hope and like she's doing so well. Now she's reaching out to people on her reservation in her own special way where she can connect people and reach people where they're at. My name is Kiara and I'm a kingdom worker.